Hello, dear Udoers and Overdoers. Welcome back to this Udo point of sale tutorial. As our fantastic store gets bigger and attracts more and more customers, we have no choice but to add a new checkout counter. And with it, a new cash register. Meaning that we need to create a whole new point of sale. When adding another point of sale, we need to ensure that our reports won't get blurry and unclear. And for that, we want both of our points of sale to have their own accounting sales journal. If uh, both points of sales all use a cash register, we also need to know where any amount of cash came from, and that's why we need to provide them both with their own cash payment method. But the new payment method also requires a new cash journal. If not, all the deals done using the app will get mixed up, and you might end up with an unreadable accounting report. And nobody wants that, right? But don't worry, in this video we will show you how to create and set up all of this in no more than three steps. So if you're ready, let's just climb into it. Let's jump to our point of sale application. And in here we're going to go to configurations and payment methods. We're going to go ahead and create, first of all, the payment methods that we need to split everything in our uh, accounting reports. We're going to click on the Create button on the top left, and let's just call it the Cash 2. And the journal, we are going to click here, and it's not created yet, but we can create it on the fly. So we're going to write Cash second, for example. And we're going to click on Create and Edit. On this view, we need to select the type, which will be a uh, cash in this case, and new options will appear, and we need to define a short code, which is a mandatory field. Let's just go ahead and select uh, CSHG. While we are here, and as a best practice, we should separate everything that we have in our payment terms for each uh, point of sale. So let's go ahead and duplicate as well a different uh, payment method for the uh, bank. So let's click again on Create. Let's click and call it Bank2. And the journal, let's do the same and call it uh, bank second. Let's click on create and edit. And now we are going to select the type as bank. The same thing in the mandatory field, we are going to call it bnk2, for example, and save. Save again, and this is the end of step number one. And what if we have a payment terminal, for example? Oh, good question indeed. And we will have a video specifically to show you how to uh, configure that. So sit tight and wait a little bit, you will get there. Let's go back to our point of sales. And now we're going to create the second POS, now that we have all the different payment methods created. Let's go to the list mode view on the top right. And this will show us the Create button. So you can go ahead and click it. You will see the standard uh, view to create a new POS. Let's call it Pet Crown 2, for example. And let's uncheck the is a bar or restaurant. We're going to scroll down to the payment methods. And we will see that all the payment methods that we have are selected. But we don't want to keep them all there, because it's a different POS. So we're going to remove and just leave the ones we created now. So we have Cash 2 and Bank 2. Now, this is the end of step number two. And let's go to step number three. So keep here in the same view. We are going to scroll down to the uh, sales uh, journal. And as you can see here, it's not created yet, but we can create uh, another one just called Pet Crown Journal 2, for example. Let's click, click on Create and Edit. And here, we're going to define a short code. Let's just say Pet Crown 2. All right, let's save it. That's the end of step number three. Quite easy, isn't it? Let's go see how this uh, behaves when we are in the front end now. Let's save this and go to the point of sales. We will see our uh, dashboard. And we are going to cl click here on a new session on our new point of sale, just created right now. Everything is going to load, and all of our products will be here just as it was in the first uh, POS. We can simply select some of them and go to the payment method on the left uh, bottom part. And you see that only the uh, payment methods that we allowed it to appear here will show. We can select the cash and validate. And why not? Let's do another one for our bank payment method and validate. All right. Now we have two orders in this POS, and we have several others, uh, od other orders in uh, our first POS. Let's see how it looks like on a report. Let's close the session. And of course, we have a difference for our sales. So let's just add here. 
let's close the session and we will be back to, to our dashboard where we can go to reporting on the top part and select the sales detail. Let's leave both of our uh, point of sales there because we want to compare them and click on print. Once you do that, a new uh, report will be downloaded and when you open and scroll down to the payment section, you will see that every uh, different type of payment is separated and your accounting is not going to be a mess. So this is how you do it to add a new cashier and leave your accounting in peace. So if you liked it, stay tuned for more. And if I don't see you, it can be that you are invisible.